Previously, we discussed about creating physically accurate materials that look and behave mathematically correct. However, in order to create realistic materials, we need to take more factors in consideration. As previously said, the key to creating successful materials is observation. Objects around us very rarely show the kind of perfect look that we will obtain from a rendering engine. Real materials have imperfections, either used to usage, weather, or simply manufacturing techniques. If you want to create believable materials, we need to add level of detail such as scratches and stains. Most importantly, we need to provide a physical texture, which will affect the way light gets reflected off the surface. And stains, which affects the amount of light being affected in a realistic, non-uniform manner. The physical texture of a hammer or iron shows the effects of small hammer hitting on the surface. To add realism, we add a few random stains, we encode such information in a texture. Metallic surfaces, apart from polished chrome, rarely show pure reflections, therefore we are going to use a different material node as basis for our material. The microfacet node simulates tiny uniform imperfections on the material surface. Enabling us to specify the overall reflectance property, a roughness value of 0 means the material has no roughness, therefore it will be perfectly reflective whereas a value near 1 means the material surface is extremely rough, producing a Lambertian diffuse. Any value in between causes the material to be more or less glossy. Now, through observation, we set the color of the material to RGB 75, 75, 75. And the index of refraction for the Fresnel refractions is 1.51. We obtain this information by looking up on the internet. Now, what we don't want to do is to simply assign the bitmap to the color plug because the material will look flat and not realistic at all. Instead, we will connect the bitmap to the material as normal. To do so, we need a fire render normal node, which has the ability of using either normal maps or bump maps. In this case, we have a bump map, so we will check the bump map checkbox. Let's make this a little larger. and we can already see the surface has changed. We have some roughness, we have uh, some hammered effect in place. Next, since the texture is encoding stains as well, we're gonna plug it to the roughness map. So to alter the reflectivity of the material in a non-uniform way At this point, we can play with these values. We can take advantage of Fire Render's full on integration with 3 Studio Max, and we are going to use one of 3 Studio Max native nodes, the color correction, to control the effects. As for the roughness texture, we want to play with lightness until the stains produce a noticeable effect on the roughness. So we're going to go ahead and diminish brightness a little bit. And as we diminish brightness, we also enhance the reflectivity, because values close to zero means the material is more reflective.
the material looks pretty good, but it seems to me the normal perturbation is a bit too much. It's it's too rough. So we want to have more subtle effects. So we're gonna go ahead and modify the contrast on the normal map texture. If we diminish the contrast, we will flatten the effect a little bit. So we can play with this value until we're happy. We can also try to invert the effect if it doesn't look right. And here it is, hammered metal. 